the carry. Yeah, what's your number? I carry about two, four, five. Okay, nice. So, sort right. of usually it's around about 270-ish. Okay. So should leave it just left to that trap. That would Sounds be ideal. Ideal, yeah. Execution time. Right, here we go. <laughs> See if I can put money where mouth is. Oh, it's good to me. Draw. It's good to me. Right, fairway guys, no big deal. I've just got the 20 yards behind Annabelle, but Annabelle, <laughs> this is a pretty iconic hole, this. The first, this is quite a famous hole in yeah, golf, isn't it, really? First of Wentworth, one of the most iconic golf course in the country. Uh -huh. You've been associated here quite a long time, haven't you? Yeah, so I was on the scholarship here when I was like 12. Um, luckily enough, obviously, came in, got my coach in here. They looked after me. They've, this is like my second family now, you know, I've been here since I was really young and worked up the ranks and obviously I'm one of the sort of, they kept me on as one of the pros and ambassadors here. So yeah, I'm very grateful for that. What a course we had to yeah, play all the time, just, man. Come and practice, well, the practice to the Exactly, team, yeah. yeah. You know, everyone wants to be your mate when you're a member at Wentworth. I bet, there. yeah. <laughs> Are we mates now, is that right? Um, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. so um, about this golf course, obviously there's three courses here, yeah. but this specifically the West, what's your best round round here? Um, I think off the backs, I think I've done a six under, like off the back, so. Six but under? Crikey, I mean, well, yeah. we came and played here in the um, Creator Cup with TaylorMade and I think, I don't think I broke 80. Yeah, it really, it really eat me up this such course. a tough If you shoot under par around here, you've played very, you know very well. Yeah. Well, we're off to a good start. Let's, hit, let's hit these ones in. Yeah, so are we, am I taking this on, Annabelle? You, you can, you can, can give me some you advice well. today. What have we got here? We've got 250. I mean, that's all I've got. Yeah, to be fair, if, even if you're short just on these traps, you're chipping a par. What a strike, Seb. Right. I'm going straight at this one. Straight at it, I love it. We're straight not here to mess it. about. Let's go. Nah. Six under's getting eaten up today. We're not here to play, <laughs> are we? Oh, the sound of it. Oh, what a shot. Go, go. That's got to be up. Oh, 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 Annabelle, what a golf shot. All right, let's have a look at this. Uh, Right, come on then, what's this left to right a little bit? It's got to. What's your what's your green reading like? So I'm one of I don't do any of the aim point and stuff like that. I'm quite I like to keep things more simple. Natural. And I feel like it slows me down. I need to try and do everything that speeds me up and makes me more reactive. Okay. Um so I always look at it from the other side. That's one thing I always do is look at the other side. Uh -huh, you I don't know how you can't. Some you know where I found this week at Centurion? If I went behind the hole, I was seeing like something completely different. A different, different. read, yeah. Like I'd be like, oh wait, it's downhill this part. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was uphill from behind. I, I don't, if, if I wasn't allowed to read the putt from behind, I'd feel significantly disadvantaged. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, Amazing how few people do it. Any amateurs watching, that would be oh, one. Most from, people, they never go behind You've got hole. to, haven't you? Yeah, you, you, you have could try to. and make it, you've got to see it from both sides. Yeah. Here's a question for you. Yep. If you read it left to right yep. from behind the ball, yep. but then right to left from behind the hole, do you then do what they say? Do you do what the old people say is, or not the old people, what people say is things. split the difference? Aim straight, is that no, what you... No, I don't. See, I'm always like, if I go behind and I'm like, oh, I'm not sure, mm. it, it's a bit of a 50-50. I always go on my first instinct, like walking up to the hole, you always got an inkling, like walking up to this, obviously, I know it's left to right to be yeah, fair, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll always go on my first instinct if I'm not sure. Will you look around at the console? Like, if I'm stuck here, I'd say, right, there's a massive hill down there, yeah. everything's surely gonna go that way. So I always try and find the low point, mm. and then I work from there. So here, you're like going around here, right, this is the low point, so it's got to be left to right. Yeah. Um, probably that, really. Okay. Right, eagle part. All right, come on, Let's then. get this party started. A lot of talk. Team I score here, actually... right? So if it's eagle, that's an eagle for us. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We're carrying on the format from last week. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's a little, it's a little encore. Right, come on. Nice, aggressive strokes, past the hole. It just didn't come back for you, did it? No, too that's much That's the work. easiest of birdies. You're a P770 then? Yeah, I love them. Yeah, they're great, Since, they? um, I just think they're the best looking iron I think Taylor made have ever done. Yeah. Personally, like they look like a blade, but they don't, they give you a bit more forgiveness than a blade, and I just think they look great. I went for the fitting, I was desperate to get the 770s, yeah. but they just yeah. weren't as good for me as the 790s. Oh, really? Just be, okay, I'm quite yeah, a poor yeah. iron player, so the 790 gave me that bit of extra help. But I've also noticed on here, You've got a unique stamping on your <laughs> on your wedges there. Are you a big fan of The Office by any chance? Yes, yes and I love yes. how you knew that. I know that. I've watched. Everyone's like, "What is this from?" And I'm like, "Honestly, don't. If you haven't watched The American Office, don't talk to me." Right. So now I genuinely have like 
I'm going to say physical fights. That's a lie. I have, I have <laughs> arguments with people when I say, I love The Office. Ricky Gervais, The Office yeah. is brilliant, right? But they don't understand how good The American the One American is. The American Office is different it's levels. It's possibly the funniest comedy show that's ever been made. It's just too good. Yeah. Michael Scott is the best Dwight Schrute, Dwight Schrute and Michael Dwight, Scott, yeah. Even like the Pam and Jim love of like whole thing like saga you go through great and there's also so many more of them like there's what yeah, nine seasons is, uh, i yeah. did tail off a bit at the end i felt oh god what have i done sorry what? you're actually traveling off for a tournament tonight aren't you yes so i'm going to finland in a few hours <laughs> and what is i've got a question for you because obviously it must be very different right now traveling on tour yeah. obviously very very different but is there something that you take with you away, like anything for practice aids, obviously your clubs and your yeah. gear and stuff. Is there anything else you take away with you? Um, I mean, absolute no-brainer, obviously alignment sticks. They're, yep. they're the most used practice aids. So you them on the range earlier, pro. yeah. Yeah, like I use them, I wouldn't be able to practice without them. Um, I quite like using, what is it, the power ball? The, okay, it keeps the you ball. connected, yeah. Yeah, so that's quite a good one for me. I tend to get my arms a bit stuck behind me, um, so it always keeps me on a good plane. That. Not loads, not loads of things else really. Okay. I, d I don't like going away and, and having too much technical thought. Like I feel like when I come home, I, I do a lot of drills. I think people will probably see me with a water band around my, um, <laughs> around my waist. I get a lot of stick for that. And that just slows my hips down and things like that. But when I get to an event, I always like to feel like you've got what you've got there. Yeah, you have, to, yeah, you have yeah. to play with what you've got. You can't find anything at a tournament. So, if I take something, probably the ball, but generally not, not really. Just use my alignment sticks. Like alignment's key at tournaments, mm. um, and and just stuff like that, really. What about any superstitions like before you play in, in an event, or is there anything you do? You do your warm up in a very particular yeah. way each time. Any golf superstitions? So like I, I have to. If I don't have like an hour and fifteen minutes to warm up, like if it's like last week I was teeing off at seven, I had to set my alarm for like four something. So I have to have. Like no matter whether I'm playing at two or playing at six thirty in the morning, my warm up has to be exactly the same. Otherwise, I just won't feel right. And will you do the same routine? Exactly each time? the same. Yeah. yeah, putting first. Putting first. Yeah. What's the thought behind that? Because I need to. You know, a lot of people will go to the range first, and then they'll go and hit putts for twenty five minutes. Mm. When you Lose. walk onto the team, you haven't hit a shot for twenty five. It doesn't make sense to me. I love as as close as possible the range to the first tee so i feel like i'm literally just walking from the range to the tee box that's like the will you, ideal will you then finish the last tee shot last shot on the range is the driver i mean i'll hit my my caddy will have a putter ready and i'll literally hit one or two putts right just literally just roll the putt and then walk onto the tee very good you well, have to be warm on the first tee well we are on the uh fourth hole here yeah i mean is... i haven't hit a shot for a minute yeah so. it's been a while now we just let a group play <laughs> through so yeah. yeah this is an interesting one because it goes yeah. down to the left right and you do like to hit a draw i like to hit a draw yeah and tell us tell me a bit about the setup you've got with the driver um so sim I 2 have max a, sim 2 max um i've had this for quite a while now obviously as soon as it came out i changed straight away for me it gave me four extra yards and you know, it looks a tiny bit different for me. It, it 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 feels the same. It feels as good as the sim, and I got four extra yards out of it, so it was an absolute no-brainer for me. Um, you know, I did. I I kept the same shaft. Um, I have it on standard loft, ten and ten point five. It's pretty standard, really. Well, Just I, I'm in the right game. Look, ten and a half, sim two max. Oh, you know, you know, I was you know I mean? we're in the same team yeah. here. Yeah. All blue. All blue. All blue. All geared all up. blue. Yeah. Next year, we're playing in the Aramco together. We've got to make <laughs> yeah. it happen. Sure. All right, come in. So this is a draw. Round right. the corner. Par, par five. five. Par five, yeah. All right, let's make a birdie. Come on. This is an interesting one because yeah. this is uh, something I do struggle with when the ball is on a slope like this. Can you give me any... It's, do you know what? This is a really hard shot because... So when the ball's on a down slope, it's always going to squeeze it right. When the okay. ball's on an up slope, it always tends to go left than you. I don't know why. Yeah, just what happens. It's it just what I got told, and it, I have noticed. So this one, you're going to have to aim more left. Okay. Um, which is hard because obviously it doesn't look very nice. Doesn't look nice it's aiming not, left, Annabelle. I'm not lying to you. <laughs> I'm not massively left, enthusiastic but, about aiming left here. But so, for me personally, I put the ball slightly further forward in my stance. Okay. Just, it just enables me to get through the ball a bit more and just make sure I sort of finish off the swing. Okay. Um. I try to match my sternum with the slope. Sternum, interesting, not shoulders. No, sternum. sternum. Okay. Shoulder, shoulder, yeah. There's no point in doing your shoulders if your body's still back, it kind of needs okay. to be. So match your sternum, okay. Yeah. And if you do your it. sternum, the shoulder should go as yeah, well, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. A bit further forward. That looks perfect to me. Okay, let's give it a go. Oof. 
That is quite a slope. It's big. Do you know what? That is an absolute goal shot. That, <laughs> that is that. unbelievable. Annabelle, I'll can you can we that. play together more, please? Because that seemed do to I be. I get my PGA badge for that or something. I don't really. Honestly, <laughs> I was not fancying that shot one bit. Where did it go? Is it so good? Is it around a bit short? I don't know, but I don't care. It was unbelievable. <laughs> I'm buzzing with that. That's on a great line. It's coming in too hot. It's on. Sit. It's on the green. Through the green. That's a big shot, that is. Yeah, it's just that lie. Is this why this That's whole five wood as well. Five wood, yeah. Downhill lie. It's needed a bit more loft. Do you know what? I've actually was a bit naughty there. I should have used my new five wood Mark just made me. Oh, you got a new one. Let's have a look yeah, at so it. it's more loft than it. Look how shiny that is. I don't want to get it out and not have a shot with it. So it's literally the spitting image of that. I would have found on that sort of shot it would come out lower as well, right? Yeah, because yeah. I'm on that down slope and it's downwind, everything's fighting it, just flat flight. So I needed that other five with there. The, the, the trick of the trade is just say it's on the green because they'll never know. <laughs> Greened it. Greened it. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Yeah, great shot. It came out nice and soft, even out of that light. What, what, uh, so what? I opened the face still. So like I got steep on it, but because the face was still open, it's not coming out really hot. What ball are you using now? So I'm using the new TPX. The new I TPX. absolutely love it because it's still got the, off the tee, it's not spinning. I'm not losing it into wind, but around the greens, I'm finding it really hard, really a lot easier to get like the feel shot. Yeah, well that was great. I mean, out of that light, I didn't think that would stop as quick as it did. No, That's yeah, a, yeah. So tap in birdie for you there. Okay, little par three now. Uh, this is little quite, path. Well, actually, yeah, it's 180. 180. Is I'm it, just trying it, to make yeah. myself feel a little bit less intimidated by it. <laughs> yeah. um, what, what about holy ones too? How many holy ones have you had? Um, so in actual play, I've had two. Well, actually, fuming. So on the postage stamp, Troon had one in the practice round of the Scottish Open. So obviously, I was gutted. It was in the. Um, oh, okay. So you, you count. That's still a hole in one. Yeah, it's, it's still a hole in one. And I went and won yeah. the tournament. So I was like, oh, do you know what? Like, I'll flex, just drop that one. There. Flex. Love that. That's a great <laughs> place to win a golf tournament. Yeah, I know. It was Royal amazing. Tree. Like hitting the last shot into 18, obviously with the clubhouse like 10 yards behind it. Like it was unbelievable. Wow. So what a feel that in a practice round to make a hole in one. To make a hole in good one. Good feelings. Good vibes. Good vibes. Wow. Go and win the tournament. Okay. So this 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 one now. Actually, I've got a few quick questions for yeah, you. Let's go. Now, let's ask you some of these, right? So we did a few of the other team Taylor made guys. Asked them little things so first of all for example you talked about that like great win is there any tournaments that you could go back and hit one shot again like so you go back and like i don't know for example maybe you you had a chance to win and you hit a shot that didn't work out oh this is a bit of a touchy subject oh really oh dear i brought out the don't, brought it's, a it's all going to get a bit emotional no um i just recently lost a playoff by missing a six footer Left so you're going back in again. yeah i'm going back in so at the evy and i was trying to defend my title which was obviously you know, you don't get many opportunities to defend. And um, I lost in the playoff, missed a six-footer. But I lost to a birdie, so... Let's not dwell on that. Yeah, anyway, let's no, move the on. next question. Let's next move question. on. Okay, so for you, would you like to, if you're working on stuff in your game, would you yeah. go on the range or would you go out and do a quick nine on the course? Um, hit 20 on the range. But for me, it's easy finding something on the range. You have to, you have to find a way of being able to take what you're working on onto the course and have that confidence. Yeah. It's so easy just to feel like, you know, you're swinging it left. It doesn't matter where the ball goes. When you're yeah. standing on the golf course, it's a completely different ball game. Putting that new swing change or whatever into action, picking your target, um, you know, just stuff like that. So for me, it's always, I've got to play. Got to play, okay, I like that. Um, what is, okay, here's an interesting one. If you are someone, you're going to lose something before you go out on the course, right? Yep. No tees or no towels. What would you be happier to go with that? 100% no tees. No tees. No tees. towel hey, does my this. brain in. Oh, there's nothing worse. So you'd happily just tee up everything off the ground? Yeah, or just no hit tea. three wood. Yeah. And that's do, how important it is. Do an LD. That, yeah, do oh, an LD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've seen her do that live at the Buckingham oh, shit on a drivable, is it the 17th, the drivable par four? Yeah. She just walked up, banged it in, on dropped it on and drove the green off yeah, the deck. Yeah, honestly, it's, I love watching her do that. Yeah, it's incredible. What, um, what about this one? No glove or no socks? <laughs> For someone that likes sticky oh, grips. Wait, what are we playing in summer? We're saying we're playing in summer. Oh. Yeah. No socks makes me just feel awful. I've got to play with no glove. No yeah. socks or sticky feet. Well, how would you feel if you were going to tee off in competition without a glove? Horrible. Yeah. You know, actually, to be fair, I only 
started using this lever my last year as an amateur. I didn't use it before. So you've got those feels in there. Then. I have, yeah, I could do it, but it just rips your hands up now. We're talking about ripping your hands up. It's not just the it. like how awful it would feel, but you'd, your feet would get pretty cut up, wouldn't they? Walk in a four way yeah, team without just socks a bit on. Sweaty, isn't it? Oh, it's not a very nice feeling. No, them shoes are not going to last too no, long like that. No, no, no. no. no okay, well, um, but I've noticed you got. We talked about one of your stamps earlier, but there's a few more in here as so well. We've got the office one. That's what office, she said. Office, and this is also an office. Remember Prison Mike? Yes. Prison Mike. Not many people know that. The worst part about prison was the Dementors. Do you remember when he's like so that guy comes into the show and he they think he's like from prison and everyone's like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Michael Scott doesn't like the fact that the attention's not on him. Are you so one of those people that could do that whole thing line for line? Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not now, but <laughs> well, maybe another. Time. Shall we go? For, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's only it's only nine <laughs> seasons left to do. And um, what's the other one? And then obviously, till the day I die, I'm a touch the sky. Obviously, it's Kanye. That's a nice I'm always going to have a, a Kanye lyric somewhere. And if you were to get new wedges, would you get the same thing stamped on? Would you mix it up? Oh, no, mix it up. Mix yeah. it up. Okay, nice. Yeah, okay. they're always different. Boom, just like that. Well, Annabelle, so, it's been an absolute pleasure playing with you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Getting to know you a little bit more. Uh, good luck in your next event. Thank you. I know, flying off in a few hours. I know, I know, right? Enjoy. <laughs>